What's up, Internet? I finally have them all. It took me some work, but eventually I have obtained all the Easter event items. All right, before we start, let me tell you how you can obtain them in the first place. So what you want to do, of course, is go to Cementos over here, go to the raid area, and over there you want to select the limited time Easter event raid. You have until the 25th, if I remember correctly, to get all the items. So what you actually have to do in the event, we'll go over that in a bit, but first I want to showcase all the weapons and then tell you my thoughts on it, which weapon I think should be your priority, and you can make up your own mind from there. Right, let's check them out together. The first one I obtained was actually the mage item. So this is a wand. It's the mage wand. It kind of looks like a little fairy stick, but it, it, it looks like very Easter-like. And you can definitely tell that the, the development team has steps up their game in modeling. So uh, yeah, yeah, props to them, honestly. All right, to test it out, I'm gonna go to the broken city over here, the ruined city, however you want to call it. What you do is you pump down. Oh, uh, wait, that's actually just my normal skill. If I press B, then there you go. It kind of creates like a lava egg boiler is what it's called. Huge AOE, pretty low cooldown. It's like four seconds. It's really good. So as it's auto attack, it has little eggs that it shoots. So it's obviously a mage weapon. So yeah, pretty cool. All right. So next up, we have the next mage item, which is the Grimoire or the Easter Grimoire, I think it's called. So what this does is it also shoots similar to the mage staff. So that's the auto attack. And then for your special attack with the Grimoire, more, it will heal and I think it will also heal your allies with the party system but I could be wrong about that in the event anyway it heals everyone that is with you in the event and it has a decent cooldown it's a little longer than the wand but you know for a heal it's pretty good it also heals quite a lot which I can show you guys let me let me get some people to attack me over here but if I heal so it heals for quite a lot like 20% almost I think if I heal now it will heal me up until yeah about 20% that is crazy that's a really good heal now those were the main items let's move over to the hunter items we start with the bow the hunter bow so this is a very long range weapon. So i think it will re yeah it will reach all the way over there which is crazy that's further than the staffs if i am correct but it's supposed to be a long range thing so it makes sense um now it's special attack is just a huge it, wait, that's not my special attack. I keep pressing V instead of B. It's crazy. So yeah, if I uh, use the special attack, I think it should reach all the way over there. So that's pretty crazy, guys. It's a huge arrow, with, which has a pretty big hitbox. So yeah, if you're looking for a long range uh, weapon, this is this is your best bet. So yeah, the whole hunter class has long range abilities. So our next item is actually the pistols. I think it's called the Easter Flintlocks or something. I could be wrong. But yeah, this is uh, a gun. <laughs> I mean, it's two guns, like, like the normal guns. But of course, it has... Uh, a different special ability. So in this case, it shoots a bunch of bullets, which is pretty, pretty good actually. So uh, they won't pass through though. So that is the thing about the flintlock, but I think it might do more damage. So honestly, those guns are very similar to the normal ones you can buy, but they do, I think, less damage and there's less bullets when you shoot. I don't know, the flintlock, I, for me, it didn't have much priority, honestly. Okay, so the next weapons are the fighter weapons. So let's check them out together. So for these, you have the sword, first of all, the Easter sword. So the second item that you get for the Easter event as the fighter class, we can actually equip alongside of the sword because it is an armor piece. So these uh, will go in your shoulders. They look pretty freaking sick. They're like eggshells. Uh, yeah, let's see what this does. So the sword is, of course, just a, well, a sword. As its special ability, you will spin around and do a huge AoE of spin attack. I, I really like that attack. It's very different from other swords that are in the game. Now, what the armor piece does is, of course, that it defends, but I think there's a twist to it. So let's check it out. So the limited time items, let's check it out. So um, the egg pauldron gets you damage reduction and it reflects upon the hit. If something really strong hits you, it gets a lot of damage back to it. I don't know how much it will reflect. That's kind of up in the air. That is why the egg pauldron might be something you want to go for pretty quickly. Now that you've seen all of them, you can make up your own mind, of course, but my personal recommendation would be go for the egg, the egg pauldron for sure, because it's an armor piece and it's the only armor piece you can get. Then if you can only get one weapon out of these, of course you can get all of them if you invest time into it, but if you could only get one, then you would have to think, what do I need really? So if you need a close combat weapon, 
I would say go for the blade. However, if you're looking for really good special attacks, I would say go for the wand because the, the lava thing is really good. It has a huge AOE and you can summon it from far away. I, I really like the wand. If you're looking for a healing item because you have trouble taking too much damage, obviously go for the Grimoire. And then if you're looking for something longer range, like you need to stay back a lot with the quirk you have, I would say go for the bow. I prefer the bow over the flintlock, but maybe that's just personal preference. But yeah, personally, I went for the Easter wand first. But if I had known the pauldron was armor, I would have gone for the pauldron and the wand first. Obviously, it depends on your own preference and your own situation. So take that into account. Okay, now that we've done that, I think we're going to do a quick Easter raid to finish it off. So like I said, how you start it is, of course, you go to some mentals, which you can do once you're level 1000 plus. Now from there, you go into the lobby, of course, and then you click the Easter raid. You can start your own in the public section or a private one. And then you can also join them, of course, over here. So I I'm going to join one that has already 12 people because this is one you need more people for. Trust me. OK, so now that we're in the Easter event, you can choose your class. So pick wisely because this is the thing that you're going to be using in the raid. So currently, uh, I think I'm going to start as mage because that's what I like best. I told you guys so. Once you get in the Easter raid, we'll start in a couple of seconds. You have a couple of seconds to prepare. So you pick uh, your class and then you pick what part of the class you want to be, like cleric or wizard in this case, or then you have fighter and paladin or that kind of stuff, a bow or, or pistol shooter. And then uh, here at the bunny master, you can actually upgrade what you pick. So for example, if I'm mage, I want to upgrade the explosion, which is a thousand eggs and then um, 20,000 eggs for the next skill and then 30,000 for the final skill. So once you have upgraded all of them, you get the weapon in game. So you need to complete all of the upgrades and then you can use it in game. The fun part about this is that they have separate skills. You can't use your quirk in this but you get separate skills for all the weapons and only one of them translates obviously into the real game as I showed you, which is the B ability. So then your Q is your first skill that you buy for a thousand eggs, which is a weaker skill. Then you get an, a bigger skill and then an ultimate skill. I really like this concept. I've also heard some negative from the community, but personally, I think it's really cool that you kind of have to start over. And if you're super OP, you're not that OP anymore in the Easter egg. It kind of makes like it levels the playing field a little bit, even though you're still stronger at a higher level, obviously, because you have your durability and your speed and all that. So yeah, your objective is pretty much to complete 10 waves. So the enemies come at the basket. You want to protect the basket and uh, of course also survive, because if you don't survive, the basket will die. And then every round you get more eggs. So I just got 200 from that but it will increase over time. So at the end, you get like 2000 or something, 2000 eggs per round. You just have to survive 10 ways. It sounds easier than it is. So yeah, for example, I'm just gonna show off the mage skills uh, for this. So the mage skills has its Q, which is kind of an egg bomb that does an AOE of explosion damage. And then the second skill is the main skill, which you get also in the, the actual game, which is a lava boiler, which is a big AOE damage. Then you also have your healers. If you are if you pick cleric, your job is mainly to heal. So yeah, it, it's really cool. So for example, there we go. That's what I'm supposed to do. There is a little bug I've noticed though. When fighters use their spin thing, which also I showed off, of course, in the real game. It reflects ally missiles. So for example, if I do a lava bomb, it will go up in the air for no reason. So guys, I think that concludes everything. But yeah, I hope you guys like this kind of guide videos. Sometimes I like to do these. Sometimes I just like to have fun with some battles. So yeah, definitely let me know what you uh, like to see most on the channel. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know with a like rating down below. Make sure you subscribe, which you can do right over there. You can check out the video as well as over there if you want to. And I hope to see you in the next one. See you guys later. Bye bye.